All right, guys. This uh, welcome to the uh, this episode of uh, the Super Smash Bros. series in Roblox Studio. So uh, first of all, um, I said I was gonna do like all the aerials in this video, but like uh, I, that would be too long of a video. And also, like the down air is a multi-hit, so like it's <laughs> so, like uh, I'm not gonna do the down air or the or the back air for this video. Uh, also, the dash attack uh, will be in this video too, not just the aerials. So, first of all, obviously, you guys have to make your own animations. <laughs> okay, first of all, obviously, you're going to make your own animations. Uh, we got dash attack. Uh, also, name your animations how I named them. Uh, name dash attack, dash attack. And here's the thing. You got to uh, name your forward air fair. Uh, and your up air, uh, up air just stays as up air. And your... Uh, neutral air as in there this just makes it like more convenient to type so first of all um oh also to add some extra things uh, since uh, this moveset basically is loosely based off the Mario uh, fair will have like a, a while of a startup time because like that Mario for there yeah and um, dash attack will have a lingering hitbox and there will also have a lingering hitbox and up air yeah, basically that that's all you guys have to know so first of all um uh, the first thing i want to say is inside of let's see camera control wait is it camera control uh wait wait oh shoot i forgot Bro, where is this? I swear. Alright, I'm using the find all feature. Alright, let's see. Uh, Alright, so in the combat local script, uh over here in this script we change I change a few things. Uh Oh, and you can recognize this part of the script if you just find this find this line so first of all uh, this basically just controls the auto rotate and the auto rotate is basically like choosing like if your character will turn around if you click buttons or something like if we turn auto rotate false uh, like your character won't turn around it will just remain the direction you're facing and this is good because just like in Super Smash Bros uh, you can't turn around while in the air so like <laughs> You can't, so like, uh, we turn auto rotate false in the air, so you won't be able to, like, turn around in the air. But we also turn auto rotate false, uh, if you can't input, because uh, we don't want you to turn around when you can't input. Um, the, we're also adding it where, because, like, especially the aerials, you can move while you're doing your attack, so. We're gonna, uh, we need this, so we can actually, like, change our walk speed of the human rate while the attack is happening instead of just setting it to zero. Alright, so first of all, um, before we actually get into the attacks, uh, inside of combat, uh, inside of the hitbox remote, we added, I added a new parameter, it's called time linger. Because we're going to have lingering hitboxes, so we got to like actually like change the code so it can like do <laughs> lingering hitboxes. So first of all, uh, well, obviously, not every single hitbox is going to be lingering. Some of them is just going to be instant. For the the instant ones are when there's no time linger. So if there is time linger, I'm just going to do a lingering hitbox. Uh, the lingering hitbox basically it just uh, uses a run service heartbeat that basically just like makes the code run like every single frame. Every single frame it does a new hitbox to make it lingering, and the lingering hitbox ends. Uh, at the same time, like, if I put the time linger to one, the, hit, the lingering hitbox will end in one second, so yeah. Alright, so, um, for, uh, uh, and else, it's just the same thing as the old hitbox remote listener, just the instant thing, you know? So basically, if you want your hitbox to be lingering you're gonna have a time linger parameter <laughs> and if you want the hitbox to be instant you could uh, uh not have the time linger at all so just don't put anything all right so first of all 
inside that combat, uh, we add we added some new things. Anyways, uh, so <laughs> first of all, since we have areas now, uh, we actually gotta detect if your humanoid's in the air or not. So we can detect by that by checking for the floor material, the humanoid. You know, you you know you're in the air. The floor materials, uh, ena material air. So you guys find this uh, inside of the mouse button thing. Uh, we added a really big if else thing. Basically, it's if if you're in the air, then we're gonna check for the uh, air controls, so like the aerials. And if you're not, you're gonna do the other things like jab, F tilt, dash attack. Oh yeah, for the dash attack, I added something inside of here. Um, or if your walk speed is more than 16, because 16 for me is a normal walk speed. So if it's if your walk speed is more than 16, you can do the dash attack. If it's not, you can do the F tilt. All right. So first of all, the, the the newest thing we added was if you're in the air, it's gonna check for a few things. First of all, if you're pressing W, which is basically the jump button, or well, not the jump button, it's the up tilt button. If you, if, press, if you're pressing W and you're in the air, you're going to do an up air. And if, if your magnitude is zero, like if you're not moving at all. Oh, I mean, if your magnitude is more than zero. So if you are moving, you're going to do a fair. And if you're like not pressing A or D, you're going to do a neutral air, which is an air. All right. So uh, to get back into the gist of it, first of all, instead of combat server, uh, we instead of setting can input to true, we set it to zero. So the walk speed is like automatically zero when you try to do attack. Except we do have some new things. And dash attack, uh now most of these things are just copy like F2 or something. Change the hitbox a bit. So my hitbox this uh, also for my overlap I added this. This kinda helps solve a little bit lag. It's basically just like put some filter filtering on the hitbox detecting so it won't detect yourself. Uh it's a really, it has a really small startup time. I don't even think this matters. Uh, remember to change this dash attack. Remember, this has to be dash attack, not dash ATK. Uh, unlike combat, which is dash AD, ATK. Uh, oh yeah, we also added something else inside script. We added a new vector force called uh, keep moving. So yeah, just put this inside. Keep moving. Just make sure like during like dash attacks, you don't like. Like during dash attacks, you always like have to keep on moving, right? You you don't stop. So like oh, until the dash attack is over. So like the vector force helps keep you from stopping. Uh, so first we set the vec. First we make the root part get a head start by setting its velocity, and then we make the keep moving vector force true because this is a dash attack. We want we want you to keep moving. Uh, and the force of the vector force is this. So you guys should probably copy that. Um. And yeah, I didn't really care about the knockback direction or the percentage, but you guys can change that if you guys want. And yeah, and it waits for 0 0.6, and then, and then uh, you can input again. Oh yeah, and also make sure you put this, which basically stops the vector force. So like, you actually like yeah. Anyways, in up air, uh, we added up air. Now I add, I kind of just copied the up to code for this, change a few things. First of all, you can move while in the air, so uh, we set can't input to 16 instead of 0, and up air turns into, uh, yeah, we, ch we change this to up air. This is the startup, pretty small, and yeah, it's basically the same as up tilt, not really much change things. And fair, now this one uh, has a, a, a while of change things. First of all, Obviously, we make it where you can move in air, except this this one has the longest startup with 0 0.4 because the Mario 4 days just has that long of a startup or around that long. And yeah, uh, make sure you add this for an air, it's a little bit different. You know why? It's because, well, first of all, obviously, like you can move. Uh, we got this uh, very small startup, except. Uh, the offset, the zero offset, and the hitbox size is 555. And you see inside of the hitbox remote fire client thing, we have 0 0.4 inside. Uh, this is for the lingering hitbox, so the lingering hitbox lasts for 0 0.4 seconds. And yeah, make sure uh, 
make sure you change this to 0 0.4, 0 0.4 seconds until you can input again. So, anyways, uh, oh yeah, one more thing inside of dash attack. So the dash attack, um, pretty sure there's also, oh yeah, we also added, uh, a lingering hitbox to dash attack is 0 0.6 seconds. So, yeah. Alright, so, uh, to prove this actually works, I'm gonna t play test it for you guys. Uh, remember, there's no back air or down air in this, in this tutorial. Alright, it's gonna take a while to load because I'm recording. Alright, as you can see, we have your normal up tilt, and we can also do our up air. And I'm pretty sure you can also land this, yeah, while falling. Yeah, and for the forward air, we got this. And notice how I can move backwards without changing the direction my character is facing. Like this. Oh shoot, I just did it in there. Okay. So like this is the, f uh, yeah, you, you guys might want to change the hitboxes a bit. I kind of didn't change it that. Yeah, I'm not really good at hitboxes. All right, and we got the Nair with a lingering hitbox. I'm also pretty, yeah, you can fast fall while doing the Nair, just like in after Super Smash Bros. All right, so we can do our Nair. And yeah, yeah, it has a ling, yeah. Yeah, you guys might want to change the knockback calculations for mine's just uh, multiplying it by the percentage. You guys probably want to change that to like an actual good formula. So yeah, that's it for this video. Uh, yeah, happy new year, guys.